Well, I got to thinking about this quad and I realized I had too many screws up here. I could eliminate four nuts and bolts. Plus the 440s I was using out here as the motor mount holders. They were kind of mismatched and long and stuff. I managed to get some that were barely matching. And uh, I ended up taking this pile of nuts and bolts off. And believe me, that weighs good. 10 or 15 grams at least, maybe more. So it's always important to save weight on these things. So that's how much I was able to save by removing and changing the design a little bit, removing some nuts and bolts. Okay, delay, delay. I was getting ready to solder up the motor bullets, the bullet connectors that go on the end of the wires. And then I ran to a local store called Menards. And they bought this pocket torch, you know, for six ninety nine because it's it's a pinpoint accuracy and all this bull crap that it says on it. It won't even light. Get a flame for a half a second at a time. You can play with all the controls all you want. Things a piece of crap. It's going back to Menards, and I'm not spending the extra money on the other ones that they got there either because they might not work either. So waste your money on them. All right, I got the bullet connectors on the motor motors. They were uh, so I had to do is fill them with solder. I got my soldering iron hot, dropped a, put some uh, flux on it, then dropped some solder in each one of them, then just stuck it on the other wire until it got cold. And there we have it. Uh, I finally hooked up the first one and plugged together. That's all. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is stuff them up on our heat, underneath here, and then put uh, black electrical tape keep the weight down and hold it in place okay I got done doing the wiring on the motors they're all plugged in and they're all taped into the channels it looks pretty cool my wife was looking at it she goes wow it matches the motors sort of cool it's got silver and black on the motors and uh, this got silver and black going down here I figured the tape would be really light. It's a lot, probably a lot lighter than a, than a tie wraps, which most people use from what I've seen. Uh, anyway, she was looking at it. She goes, it's got a certain feng shui. So I decided to rename it from peg, which I used to have. I used to call it peg because of the peg legs. But now I'm going to decide I'm going to just call it feng shui. So there it is. Uh, wires tucked away neatly. The, actually at the end they tuck right into the end of the tube and run all the way up to the ESC which is right up inside there. And eventually I'm going to have a flight control board up here. Uh, it'll have a what is that called? GPS module on it. I'll have a beeper, a warning for a low battery beeper. I got to mount a battery somewhere on this thing, uh, a, and a receiver. And then uh, after I get all that stuff, I'll hang a camera right under here, and it'll be ready to fly and take some video.